general takeaways from the game today? Uh, I thought it was um, a tough game. Um, I thought both teams played really hard, both teams really competitive. Um, I appreciated our fight and our um, battling. I thought um, obviously our defense was, you know, we struggled to defend um, to defend them, period, but especially Bamberger, she changes the game, you know, with her, her size and her skill level. She's a very talented player. Um, we just, we had a tough time with that matchup and um, offensively, you know, we relied a lot on Ioana to score points for us, and I think she ran out of gas a little bit there, and, and they made some adjustments defensively in the second half. But, um, you know, I th both teams had chances. There was a point there in the fourth quarter where I don't think anybody scored for probably three, four minutes. And, you know, then I think we got fouled, made one free throw, came down. I think uh, the number three, Hannafin, for them made a jump shot. and. Mm -hmm. Kind of from there, it, it broke open a little bit. But I um, thought both teams had chances. I thought both teams, you know, again, competed really hard. We just kind of came up on the short end mm -hmm. of that a little bit. Does it concern you at all, like, depth-wise, that you were relying so heavily on Ioana there in the fourth and she's missing? Like, does that just concern you at all, like, just trying to find another go-to there when she's not making the shots? Yeah, I mean, we're going to ride Yo as long as we can. She's, mm -hmm. she's uh, you know, such a... Uh, phenomenal shooter and player but you know our offense you know uh, it without having a a post player inside you know mm -hmm. like a, you know to have a Bamberger or somebody down low yeah. it changes how teams have to play we don't really have that post presence with Deb out right mm -hmm. now so we're needing to find other ways to score um, the basketball and obviously Yo is our go-to but typically we have you know contributions from more players on the floor and I think you know our our offense, as they do make some adjustments, we need to continue moving and finding shots for other people, and then those people got to knock those shots down. But um, you know, I think it's it's a work in progress here as we adjust to, to not not having one of our better players on the court, and um, we are going to have to keep finding finding different ways to, to try to figure out how to be successful. What is the projection for Deb right now? How long do you expect to get? I I don't know. It's it. Yeah, I I don't even really have a good timeline mm -hmm. for it. Just how difficult is that going into these games now when you don't have that post option? Like, how do you adjust as a team? That's a really good question. You know, I mean, I think that's our challenge. We need yeah. to, to find ways to, again, be able to be competitive and to be able to, um, you know, beat teams, um, you know, especially on your home court. But it's going to be a tough trip going to BYU, going to San Diego. Um, you know, BYU has uh, Lauren Gustin. She's mm -hmm. one of the top leading rebounding post players in the country. And, um, very physical, very uh, tough inside, so that won't get any easier for us there. And in San Diego, is always tough nosed, hard nosed, and tough minded defensively. So, you know, we'll have to kind of figure things out as we go. And, you know, I have confidence in our players' ability to uh, come back on Monday and, you know, control our response. They'll work hard and we'll get prepared and, and hopefully come out and, and play well Thursday. Early on, everyone was hitting everything on both sides, and you guys were shooting a lot of threes as a team that has the best um, three-point defense in the conference. So, like, kind of what was the approach here? Just taking what you were given, or uh, just what was that? Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know. why. So we made 12 threes uh, today, and we mm -hmm. made, what, 16 yesterday, yeah. and we made zero the game before that. Mm -hmm. I, it's, you know, we're... You know, we're hard to scout, I guess. Um, so, you know, I don't know that we're a 16 three-point shot a game team, and mm -hmm. I know that we're not a zero. I think somewhere in between, you know, statistically things even out. But, uh, you know, today I, I you know, Bamberger um, takes up so much space in the paint yeah. defensively, and she doesn't really come out of the paint. So the shots that were available to us were more perimeter-oriented shots. Mm -hmm. um, the times that we drove in, um, you know, just kind of, you know, willy nilly, she somebody blocked us, or we're going against two and three players. So uh, in this game, some of the shots that we were able to to find were from the perimeter. You know, we still want to attack the basket, though. How much do you have to like change the identity of this team with Deb out to like? Is that something you're actively working on, or is it just kind of like this? Mm -hmm. Just kind of just where you're at this season. I mean, I think, you know, it, we're not certainly not the only team that has injuries to deal with or things. It's a really long season, and yeah. what we can't do is we don't want to veer too much from our identity, mm -hmm. um, but we do need to find ways to to make up for some of the things that, that she does or play in a little bit different way um, now than maybe we were playing when we had that post, you know, low block presence that Deb is. Um, so, you know, but, you know, our challenge is just to come out and, you know, play the next game. You know, we're not even a third of the way through the conference season. And, you know, we've got teams to prepare for and, 
you know, our, our players are fully capable and most of them have been here for multiple years and mm -hmm. kind of know the, how competitive the conference is. And um, you, can't, you can't get too high, you can't get too low, but we just need to do our best to, to try to get ready for the next one.